Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again so much for our time together. I want us to look today in the book of Acts chapter 7 and the beginning of chapter 8 at the introduction of who we call today the Apostle Paul. The scriptures begin in verse 58, and the witnesses laid down their garments at the feet of a young man named Saul. And as they were stoning Stephen, he cried out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And falling to his knees, he cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not hold the sin against him. And when he had said this, he fell asleep, and Saul approved of his execution. Now there arose on that day a great persecution against the church in Jerusalem, and they were all scattered throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. So that great, huge church of Jerusalem is now all the way back down to 12. Devout men buried Stephen and made a great lamentation over him. But Saul was ravaging the church and entering house after house as he dragged off men and women and committed them to prison. Now sometimes you and I look at Saul as the salvation of the persecutor. But can I look at it just a little differently with you today? I would call it Christ's rescue of a twisted young man. Now notice, he is a young man named Saul in chapter 7, verse 58. This young man was already a member of the Sanhedrin court because that's how he could stand as witness. There had to be a legal witness representing the Sanhedrin at the execution. He was the official witness holding the garments. So he's probably the youngest man of the Sanhedrin court. He has listened and watch the corruption of the older members for the death of Christ. He feels that everything he has believed in, everything he has been taught is being challenged by these new people. He sees that violence and death is an acceptable methodology to crush this thing that's coming against what he believes in so zealously as a young man. And his heart is twisted. I want you to notice it was not old men that led the persecution of the women and children. It was a young man whose heart was filled with violence. As a young man, forgive me, he was very zealous. He had seen the corruption. He had seen the violence that the older men practiced, and he took it on steroids. So when I look at that road to Damascus salvation of Paul, I look at it as the mercy of Jesus stepping down and taking a young man whose heart has been so twisted, very zealous, but a young man's heart who was so twisted, and he rescues that young man from the twisted anger that had filled his heart. Some of you young people, you're listening to me today, and you're angry. I mean, you're just angry. You've seen too much at a young age, and in your zealousness, anger has filled your heart. Please, let the anger go down. The wrath of man never works the righteousness of God. Let the anger get put away. and Let God fill your heart with love.